all you wonderful people, I'm Jatin Sapro and here's presenting the fifth and final episode of Crypto Tales by CoinSwitch. Now over the last few weeks and the last four episodes, I've been in the company of some incredible brains, some fascinating people who've intrigued us, they've had a lot of fun with us, they've dropped a lot of important knowledge for all of us to absorb, but more importantly, they've helped us educate ourselves so much more about this fascinating world of cryptocurrencies. And today's episode is going to be no different. I've got someone who's brilliant, someone who's very entertaining and full of knowledge, and he'll be joining in in just a moment. But before we start, like always, I'm going to start the show with a fun fact. Maybe some of you have heard this, maybe some of you have not, but in crypto parlance, a lot of crypto investors often refer to this term called HODL, H-O-D-L, which simply means to hold. Now, a common investment strategy often tells you to hold on to your investments for a long term and not just buy and sell in order to make a quick buck. Well, if it's that simple, then where did HODL come from? I'll tell you. Back in the day, when Bitcoin was a small, tiny community, there was a trader called Mike. And Mike was perhaps the worst trader of his time. Why? Because Mike would only make losses. Mike had had enough. So one fine night, he was angry, he was frustrated, and he wanted to now only hold on to his investments. But Mike had also had one too many. He was drunk and he wanted to announce this to the world. So he logs onto the internet in that state and goes onto a Bitcoin forum and types, I am hodling. It was meant to be holding, but it became hodling. But who cares? Because now we hodl onto that as one of the most popular and enjoyable Bitcoin memes on the cryptosphere. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hodl onto that fact while I pull out from the hodling area my guest who's been hodling on for way too long. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start the show. So tell me, what was the price of the Bitcoin when you bought it first? You know, actually, I think I was late to the party. Uh, but having said that, now in hindsight, I'm, I'm glad I did when I did. Um, but it was back in 2018. Uh, would have been roughly about $5,000 US. $5,000 then, 2018. What is it now? 48, 50. Yeah, 48, $50,000. Yeah, fluctuating there. Almost a thousand percent? I like that. The sound of thousand percent somehow seems a bit better, yeah. We're glad. It's only about you feeling better. Am I the only one or are there some friends out there that you ever shared this with? Timely sharing of information, I mean. Okay, I'll be honest here. For about the last five or six years, I'd been doing a lot of research, reading about it, uh, trying to sort of find my way through the water and then said, look, if I'm going to put my own money in, I've got to be convinced. And 2018 was that period. So that's the only reason, Sapru, why I didn't come to my near and dear ones. Anyway, anyway, moving on from your betrayal, betrayal, how does this fit in? You know, is there something that's happening? Yeah, you know, great question, because when you look at what's happening in the world today within the world of cryptocurrency, take, take Lionel Messi, for example, right? Everyone's mm -hmm. talking about the deal from Barcelona to PSG. A lot of that deal was actually paid for in cryptocurrency. Then you go across to America and the Miami Heat Stadium has been renamed for the next 17, 20, 19 years, in fact, till 2040. They've got the renaming rights uh, to that stadium paid for in cryptocurrency. Berkeley's University Stadium has been bought over and renamed with cryptocurrency as, as the key trading platform. So I think we're trying to understand that there's a large role, not just from a sponsorship perspective, but actually when you look at NFTs now, when you look at blockchain technology used for fan engagement, there's a huge part to play as well. And I think for me, that's a big role of exploration because I think for us as huge sports fans, sportsmen ourselves in some sense, and guys who follow the sporting world so closely, I think there's such a large role to play in merchandising and fan engagement and mm. how to create better fans and have that unison between fans and sports teams as well. So huge role, in my opinion, where, where sport and cryptocurrency are heading. I think that's a really cool point and a very important one. Lionel Messi, PSG, Miami Heat, these are big names, right? And you need this validation. It's coming from giants, so I'm sure even in India, 
a lot of big brands would be getting tempted in sports I'm talking about. So let's get specific. Is there something that's already happening? Yeah, and that's why there's a big smile on my face because actually I'm working with a team called Sports Chain and we're working on India's first blockchain-based fan engagement platform, right? So what we're doing is, mm -hmm. as you said, we're, we're trying to take fans and empower them, take passive fans and make them invested fans. And what I mean by that is, when you look at the world of social media now, Jatin, you, you see a lot of noise, right? A lot mm -hmm. of trolls, a lot of noise, a lot of just, uh, a lot of opinions. But the opinions aren't translating into anything. I don't feel like I own a part of the team that I'm so strongly supporting. So what we're trying to do is develop those coins which can make you feel like you're an owner, but you also have a role to play, right? I can then vote based on polls that the, on, on whether I want them to wear a particular jersey or I can you know, be a part of VIP fan experiences that are really special and only those with uh, the branded coins of that team can possess. Or then you've got the ability to actually vote on who which player that you might want for the next season. So mm. the, the options are limitless. You can also then go into merchandising, into buying tickets and all of this stuff through the blockchain, which then removes any middleman. So for a team, you can monetize it in different ways. For a fan, you get to actually feel like you're a bigger part of the team. So that's why I mean, you take a passive fan and convert them to an invested fan. It's a win-win. And so, yeah, looking forward to building that with Sports Chain. But actually, you can do it now as well because as you said, Lionel yeah. Messi, PSG, Barcelona. PSG and Barcelona are part of the Chili's program. And Chili's is actually What's the Chili's on. Chili's program? Chili's is on. It's a coin. CHZ. It's on coin switch as well. So, uh, Sapru, let's take a stab. Chili's Mirchi to start se lagai rahe, bhai. But no, I'll t also tell you something. A, how easy coin switch has been for yeah. me as an experience. And all the other guests who have come in, yeah. what I've done is, uh, I've sort of diversified my portfolio. I love it. Whichever talking. coin they've spoken about that has intrigued, intrigued me the most. Yeah. I've invested small amounts because I want to assess, right? And do my research. So hang on, let me get You know, into... what I would have said to you is, given what you're wearing and how expensive it looks up, I would have said, just buy some Bitcoin or Ethereum. But since you're Bro, a sports... How do, you, how do you know in reality I don't have a few Bitcoins? I'm, I'm hap happily certain. This is just a facade, you, you know, I'm putting I'm, up here. I'm on the sure, show. I'm sure. Given, given who you are, Sapru, I'm sure on the sly <laughs> you got a bit of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum or something parked somewhere. But which is why I said, look, just yeah, we can get it. Come on, bro. <laughs> okay. So, but Chili's, Chili's is yeah. the one you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. CHZ. CHZ. Yep. Okay. There you go. Uh huh. I'm not going to show you the amount I'm investing. That's fine. That's fine. Again, you get an away. inclination of whether I have uh, a bit. I'll look away. But what you're doing now, is you're becoming an invested sports fan, right? Because now what you can do with that Chili's coin mm. is now buy a team token of your choice, right? A, a football team or a, a sports team of any, yeah. of any kind. And you now have a voice in that team. And I'll tell you the most important thing is when you're reaching out to all the fans, you have to make their experience very easy. Correct. Right? Because it might sound like rocket science, but when I got onto this app, Coin Switch, I've just realized you go to your coin, you figure out how much amount you want to invest in and that's exactly what I've done. In fact, it gives you a preview buy as well. Love it. In case that one extra zero. It's happened to me a few times. I don't regret it. He's got that many zeros times. in his bank account. We can't help it, right? Basically. Nice, nice. Up Please, there. show me on. some respect. <laughs> I have another coin in my portfolio. Chili's Luggy? Luggy. <laughs> More than anything, I mean, we are, we are sports guys, right? So it's nice to see, which is why I'm working on something similar, right? Because I do think in India today, we need it, we, we want to see fans who, who want a bit more of a voice. And I think that's where we're at. We're at a stage in India where we're about to explode with the blockchain world. You know, I firmly always believed in this. There are grounds that are made for sports people yeah. to step onto and play, but stadiums, stadias, teams and branding yeah. is done for the fans. Yeah. So if you allow them an immersive experience, which is this simple, I think this has to be the future. But what about the research? Simply put. Yeah. What are the most important things that an early investor should look for on the World Wide Web before making a decision? Do your own research because there's a lot out there. There is information. Whether it's at the touch of a button today on our smartphones, you've got access to exactly what Ethereum are up to, what Cardano is up to, what Ripple is up to, uh, what the updates might be from a Polkadot or a Matic or anyone else, uh, what Elon Musk is saying about Doge mm -hmm. and Baby Doge and everything else that's going on. So there's a lot of information out there. It's, it's for you, therefore, to dive in and understand what the technology is about because it's not just some airy-fairy thing, right? This currency actually is, is not just a currency sometimes. There's a blockchain technology behind it. So I would say, do your research, A. Uh, if there was one piece of advice I would give you, it's just four letters, H-O-D-L. Honestly, that's... Good job, Mike.
thanks. Thanks. I'll rename my name to Suhail Mike. No, you don't want to be like what Mike I don't, was. I don't. I don't. I'm glad. And I'm glad, right? I, like I said earlier, I had that FOMO of, of, you know, missing out too early. But I do think I needed to miss out then because I wasn't convinced. So I think you've got to be convinced, right? You have to have the conviction that you believe in blockchain, you believe in cryptocurrency, you think it's going to grow in, in a few years' time. That's why for me, even though I knew about it, say, in 2013 or 2014, and, you know, friends were telling me, dude, buy it now, buy it now, buy it now. I held off until I was convinced. And that was 2018, right? So whether you're convinced today, you're convinced in 10 days' time, six months' time, two years' time, take that time, understand mm. it. But when you do take that deep dive, take it, be convinced, and hold on. At least you had friends who were trying to convince <laughs> you or at least telling you about this. But so, yeah. Been a pleasure, brother. Thank As you always. so much for joining me here on Crypto Tales. Absolute pleasure. And just like that, we've come to the end of this fascinating journey, Crypto Tales by CoinSwitch. It's been an incredible ride with some of the sharpest minds from the world of cryptocurrency. In case you haven't seen the previous four episodes, please do so right away. There was so much to learn, there was so much to unfold, and I'm hoping that all of us now are so much more educated about this world of cryptocurrencies. And I get a feeling that we've just seen the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more that this world has to offer, and I'm equally curious to know about all of that in the next few years to follow. So if you're about to start your journey into this world of cryptocurrencies, just download CoinSwitch, India's simplest and largest crypto trading platform. Until we meet again, this is Jatin Sabru saying take care, stay safe, and good luck with your investments. Hold on!